With most of the students in class, the fraternities at UND are quiet during the day. And with a new policy in place, they plan to remain quiet into the night. Uh, the way that I under understand it to be is that they have a zero tolerance policy. The enforcement goes to the Friday of finals week. That's the end of the semester. The Inner Fraternity Council, which oversees all of UND's fraternities, has decided to ban partying in all of the school's Greek houses for the remainder of the semester. This means no minors and no one who is not a member of the house will be allowed to drink there. It's a good idea. It's uh, them, them reacting, kind of taking control. Um, of themselves. People might look at it as a negative thing, but the reality is that it's an extremely positive thing. That, you know, a lot of people think it was our administration that is doing this because um, we're being punished for anything, but that's not the case at all. It actually is um, a bunch of UND students acknowledging you know, a possible problem and finding the best way to fix it. Their decision to restrict partying followed recent noise violations, streaking, and a train accident resulting in the death of a student. Even though the policy ends after the semester, the fraternities plan to keep partying to a minimum in the future. UND officials are pleased to see their students taking action. They've uh, taken upon themselves to sort of self-police, if you will. Uh, so as an administration, we're, we're proud of the students to, for the leadership they're showing. Reporting in Grand Forks, this is Ezra Vanden 90, Campus News.